Hello guys, it's Free Helpful Guide here, yo. For all the modders out there, this needs to update to the dash lines 17489. I have the files right here. Uh, I got it from Ninja, all credits to Ninja and Swizzy. And all credits to the whoever, I forgot, I don't know who made this one, Infernus.xex. Uh, I think it's on 7 cents, it's a paid one. I think somebody released it on another channel, and I just found it, and I guess I'll just release it too. Um, I actually am on right now. Um, Dash 17489. I will show you guys that in a second. I just want to show you guys this is for real because it looks like people is not actually showing you guys that this is actually the real one. I don't know why. Instead of just taking photos of it. But I'm going to show you guys that this is for real. The real version, I should say. Um, let's open up my NAN uh, right here. And you just put your CPU key, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'll just do it to show you guys. Where's my notepad? Right there. Let's copy my CPU key. Which I will, you know, block out in the video. And then you just click generate it hack image. And boom. It's generating the hack. And voila, you got your little kernel version 17489. And of course, mine's a Trinity. I guess Freeboot RGH1X. So that's completed. And you know, yeah, not really. Don't need to do all of that. And then we got our Furnace XEX. I'll show you guys on the Xbox version on it. And you guys should see. So let's go over to the Xbox version, shall we? Hello guys, now that we're on the Xbox version, I'm going to show you guys the furnace.xx actually works on here on a new dash. There's a new offline file. I'll put all the description below on whoever released it, it, whoever gave it to everybody. So let's go over to the system settings to show you guys that it is for real. There you go. Dashboard 2.0.17489.0. And my IP address. I'm gonna cover my IP. I'm at IP, so I will cover it so you guys won't try to boot me off or will boot me off. Doesn't really matter, but hey, it is what it is. So I'm gonna show you guys that I do, that I do have it here. I think some new stuff on Xbox is like activity feed, which is pretty cool. There's some other stuff. So we're gonna go to the FX menu. And here we are and we're gonna go to the content well for me it's content I put it right here for dash launch you just set it as a plug in there right click X save it and just to show you guys it is on my hard drives right there so I'm gonna reboot up my Xbox so you guys see what the screen looks like with the little notification at the bottom so let's do that right now there we go it says active if it says loaded I believe that either your KV is banned because when I first put it on there it says load it and I didn't check my network connection and it says active um, so already looks pretty good on my end here and there it is so you guys have any questions at all just match me on aim Skype or Xbox credits to Swizzy Xbox Ninja and all the other people who I put all the information in even the person that I got the file that he gave out for free on the channel um, so if you have any questions at all, just let me know. Now it's time for me 
to play GTA 5, but my mod loader won't lie. Script bypasses are so awesome. I'll make another video soon um, about my booter. And I'll let you guys try out. See what you guys like. I did let a couple people try it out. They like it. Um, I just want to, you know, give you guys a little free trial on it. And if you really want to buy it, just let me know. It'll be on in there too. So I'll make another video on that and other modding, trolling videos. Just been been really busy. So it's kind of early where I am. So I decided to make this because a lot of people not putting the right information out for the new XE build and the dash and offline files. So, yep, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you guys next time. Adios. To watch the next video, click the arrow below next video. To watch the previous video, click the arrow below previous video. Enjoy the music.